हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल आई प्रे फॉर यू ऑल गॉड गिव यू अ लॉन्ग लाइफ एंड यू लिव ऑलवेज हैप्पी देयर प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड आल्सो सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई हैव अ रिक्वेस्ट टू यू ऑल वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल एंड फॉर सपोर्टिंग मी सो लेट स्टार्ट टू डे इन्फॉर्मेशन दीज आर सम अपडेट्स ऑन दिन आर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो आई हैव टू टेल यू समथिंग गो टू गूगल डॉट कॉम and search to naropinions.com and open this site here you can see the latest news dinar opinions and dinar guru updates on a single page so visit this site for more information did you know that the number of bank cards in america has skyrocketed to nearly 20 million that's right 19.75 million cards are now in circulation But what does this mean for the average American? Today, we're diving deep into the financial trends and insights from the heart of American banking. And guess what? There's a lot more than just the numbers at here. The stage is set for some major changes that could reshape the financial landscape. First off, let's talk about the increase in bank cards. More cards mean more access to credit and spending power, right? It's great for consumers but brings its own set of challenges. With increasing debt levels, it raises the question, how is this access affecting purchasing power? And who's really benefiting from this boom in banking? As we explore this, let's not forget the voices we're hearing in the media. It seems there's a lot of chatter about rate changes. While some are warning that these changes will lead to disaster, are the fears valid? Take a look at the political landscape. You have figures like Al Alaq on TV claiming that there are no restrictions on our balances in America. But why is there so much talk about potential disasters? Let's dig a little deeper into this conversation. Many believe the politicians are simply stoking fear. Why? Because they might know something we don't. The looming rate change is no secret. It's something we should all be aware of. Sadani, a key figure, is preparing the Middle East for this shift, looking at ways to stabilize the economy. But does that mean the average person needs to worry? I'm here to tell you that purchasing power is, in fact, vital for our country. We have assets that should give us confidence moving forward. Think about it. We are blessed with phenomenal non-oil revenues. This includes gold reserves, foreign reserves, and other sources of income such as taxes and tariffs. These assets are poised to provide a strong financial backbone for our economy. The fear-mongering we hear might just be a distraction from the real potential. Let's talk more about those assets. Gold reserves have historically acted as a safety net during economic uncertainty. With global markets fluctuating, having substantial gold reserves could be a game changer foreign reserves also play a crucial role in stabilizing currency values and don't overlook the significance of tax revenues when utilized properly they can contribute heavily to public services and infrastructure however there's a pressing need to manage these resources wisely if navigated correctly there's a lot of room for growth in purchasing power So, the question is, what can we do to ensure our economy benefits from this potential? Understanding how to harness our assets will be key. We must support policies that promote responsible financial regulations. Encouraging transparent conversations about rate changes is essential. Let's hold our leaders accountable and demand clarity about these rumors. We deserve to know how these changes will affect us directly. And while we are on the topic of accountability, what about the role of the media? They have a significant influence on public perception. Are they helping the conversation or adding to the chaos? Now imagine a scenario where we capitalize on these strengths. A society where everyone's purchasing power is elevated. Where financial literacy becomes a norm, not a luxury. Where every citizen is well informed and empowered. So, let's take a moment here. If you find these discussions valuable, 
consider liking and sharing this video. Comment below with your thoughts. What do you think about the current state of our banking system? Is fear surrounding rate changes justified or just a distraction? Your opinion matters, and we want to hear it. As we wrap up this discussion, remember, the future of our financial landscape rests in our hands. With wisdom, transparency, and citizen engagement, we can ensure a stable and prosperous economy for everyone. Stay informed, stay engaged, and keep the conversation going. Until next time, take care.